In Services, you can use reports to keep track of your plans and your people. Now, Services has a built-in set of common reports, but you can also use a custom report to make sure that all the information and formatting are just right for what you need. Let's start by printing out a plan. Here on the standard plan report, you can see that it gives you some choices. Use the checkboxes to add or remove different things from the report. But if you want more options, like a different layout or style, it's time for a custom report. Start by checking out the standard custom reports. These are popular reports that have already been set up so that you don't have to build them yourself. If you need more customization, you can use one of these reports as a starting point or start from scratch on your own. To get there, click Edit Custom Reports from any print pop-up and services. Here, you'll see all the custom reports that your church has created for the plans page, the matrix, and the people page. Let's say you want to make a report of all your people, along with the date they last logged in. So create a new people report and give it a name. Time for a pro tip. If you're not sure which template to use, open up the people page in a new tab and try running some of these reports to see what they look like. In this case, the directory report is already pretty close to what you need. So head on back over to your other tab, and from the template dropdown, select directory, and then click accept. Okay, deep breath. If you've never done anything with code before, don't worry. We've made it as easy as possible for you to make a few simple changes. Here's a quick tip to help you see what's going on. Open up a new tab, and from the people page, print a copy of your new report. Just make sure you output it as a web page instead of a PDF. Now, as you work on your report in the editing tab, you can refresh the printed report in the other tab and get an up-to-date picture of how your edits are looking. Most of our templates include a quick customization section where you can easily change what data is included on the report. Here, there's an option to print last logged in, but it's currently set to false, which means it won't show in the report. All you need to do is change it to true and then click save. Over on the other tab, when you reload the page, you can see that it's now showing the last date each person logged in. If you want to change any formatting, head back to the editor. Let's say you need the font size to be bigger. Scan through until you find the font size and then bump it up a little higher. Let's try 14. Click Save, then check out your changes on the other tab by refreshing the page again. If you know a little bit of programming, these reports can be fully customized using the Liquid template language. In the left sidebar, you'll find links to learn more about Liquid. There's also a reference of all the planning center variables you can use in your reports, and a tag section that helps you add logic to your code. For more information on custom reports, check out our help desk by clicking the question mark in the top right-hand corner of the page. 